No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Color Grading Central, professional color grading with color finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Hey everybody, uh, we are here with Nick uh, at Freefly, and he's going to talk about the new Mimic. Yeah, so we've got the brand new Freefly Mimic that just uh, got announced yesterday at 4 o'clock. Um, basically what it is, is it's an intuitive way to control the camera and allow you to really kind of be more intimate. Because um, as we've, we've kind of noticed, um, as you get more and more uh, disconnected from the camera when you're flying it on a multi-rotor, when it's on a cable cam, when it's you know on a dolly, on a tripod. This actually puts it way more intuitively back into your hands. You know, we look at it as a, another way uh, of of moving it, of of controlling the camera. So you're not necessarily being confined to the tra traditional methods. Now that that's not to say that you know. The wheels aren't a fantastic device, that a joystick isn't there. It has its application. The really nice thing about the Mimic is that if you don't have any training on the on something more traditional, that you can just pick this up and go, just by simply moving your body. You move left, it goes left. You move right, it goes right. And the, the, the thing that I found most enjoyable was the roll feature. Um, so, you know, it'll, it'll really provide creators a new way to, to take over a shot Say you're running through the woods and you're chasing someone, and you really feel like that camera needs to bank. Well, with the Mimic, it's as simple as almost flying it. You just turn it a little bit, and then the camera follows. And what do you think uh, sort of the main application for this uh, unit is going to be? You know, that's what I'm actually excited to see what people do with. Um, so we see that really anyone with a Movi or a Movi controller can utilize the Mimic um, in everything from handheld to aerial. Nice, and uh, do we have any idea on uh, release dates slash price points yet? So the, we're gonna start with a beta program for the Mimic to really get, kind of get all the feedback and input from the creators out there. That way we can put all that into more of a, a mainstream stable release. Um, but that's actually available for pre-order today for uh, $4.95. And uh, so to get into the beta program for yep. it is, is 500 bucks? Yep, 500 bucks. And but you'll have to have a mobile. Right. You, don't, you aren't restricted to have, you don't need a controller. Okay. Um, and what's the, uh, what's the range on the? So the, uh, the Mimic will go the same distance as the Mobi controller, which is 1,200 feet, uh, feet line of sight. So, but if you, know, if you have walls and whatnot like that, you definitely want to. Is it, yeah, how does it handle through walls? Is it like in, in doing interior work, like steady cam work almost with yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's really seamless through there. Uh, last night we were running around um, our, uh, our house all through the backyard, through the pools, concrete walls. It held up great. Nice. And what do you think are the main things that need to be you know, worked out in the beta program? I think really what will happen in the beta program is we're going to find out what people need um, on the go with this unit, whether or not it's, it's certain buttons, um, kill switches, um, really just all the technical stuff to make it more uh, integrated into your system with less you know, obstructions. Nice. Um, and also, you guys have built a, a, a drone. Yes. Um, the Alta. The Alta, yes. We are really What's excited going on with it? about the Alta. So basically, FreeFly came from the sky. Like, we're returning there. It was founded by, by Tab. Who, who really was an aerial cinematographer um, back in the day. And after years and years of uh, testing, packing, unpacking, trying new things, um, they developed the Cinestar. Well, the Cinestar was more of a kit. So everyone had to provide their own electronics. And what, what we're really excited about with the Alta is the fact that it includes our Synapse flight controller, which we found that everyone seems to be pretty, pretty stoked about. And what are the advantages of the Alta in terms of what it can carry and... So the Alta can carry 15 pound payload for 14 minutes. Um, you can mount the gimbal on the top or the bottom. So that'll allow for a, a whole new perspective on what you can achieve with it. There, there will be applications that, you know, with the top mount of restriction of as far as like looking down without seeing the props. But at least this way you can actually see up into the trees or the sky or underneath something. Totally. Um, and what's the availability and, and price point on that? So the uh, the Alta will be um, available starting in June, but you can pre-order now 
for a thousand dollar deposit. Um, the price point is uh, eighty four ninety five. Nice and. Um, since I think since last year, since you guys uh, announced the Movi and started hitting the scene with it, um, there's been tons of like budget versions of the gimbal. You know, the gimbal market is exploding. Um, um, what do you think the main advantage of is of your technology uh, to the? you know, the, the little guys in their garages, like, making this stuff? No, for sure. You know, we've, we've definitely seen that everyone has kind of, uh, you know, uh, started to create uh, different versions of, of, of a stabilizing system. And what we really like like to think about as far as in terms of ours is that it's made for the cinema industry. Like, it has the reliability, the rugged nature, um, the expandability. Like, as you can see, like, we're opening up new doors with with what the Movi can do. So the last firmware, we uh, released a data logging feature, which is really gonna allow VFX companies to take advantage of all the data that the Movi captures. Um, now we're adding on the Mimic feature, you know, in order to really expand the user um, ability. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that that's about it. Uh, Freefly Systems.